Hi guys, it's Kim and I am here with another update to a project pan. This update is for the child of the 80s project pan and it was created by Jaylon. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab and it feels so weird to be talking with you guys again because I've been sick for so long. If you notice, I haven't been posting videos for a couple of weeks now. Um, I didn't have COVID, but I had something and it was viral and they, and I don't know, like a week ago, I sounded like a combination of like a duck and a man like talking and it was like honking out of my body. I was wheezing. Um, I needed to get better though. So I did, but I'm still not hundred percent, but I'm like, I need to put on a face of makeup. I need to film. So you're going to see a bunch of video updates that I am not filming that I'll just do a two month update for the next time. Like, um, my advent calendar, I'll just film it at the end of June and it'll be a two month update instead of a one month update. So I hope that's okay for you. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know where I've been, what's been up with me. And if you'd like to see this update, then stay tuned. So for the first um, product, and Jaylon has 80 prompts in this project so far, that, or this year already. Um, last year it was 40. I'm probably not going to, well, I don't know. Maybe I'll get through more than what I think. So let me get on with the update. So the first prompt that I rolled in, that I have rolled in for this project right now is I want my MTV. Something that reminds you of a song, musician, or band. And for that, I chose this Sol de Janeiro Brazilian uh, Kiss Kupuachu Lip Butter. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but I marked it on the side. I started and it was up there. I'm down to this. I was able to make a, the tiniest new line. And then here is what I have to finish up. It went from one centimeter to 0.9. You know, all I can say is I'm trying. Um, I don't mind the formula. Like I like the way it feels, but I don't always want that scent on my lips. Like I don't know, like if I put this on, I don't normally want to eat or drink anything because I feel like it's just getting in the way of any of the flavors of anything else, even though it doesn't have a taste. The flavor makes me feel like it does. So anyway, this is going to be in for a while. The second prompt I had was Dirty Dancing. And for that, I chose we were to choose a baby, you know, mini product. And so for that, I chose my Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Baby Brute with a goal to finish it. And I took the stopper out and I was able to make a new mark down there. Once it gets about halfway done, it's very difficult to get any more on the wand for these minis. So I'm gonna keep using it with the wand or with the stopper out. It, it is messy though, but I really like the formula. And I wonder with the bigger ones, if anybody knows with the larger ones, do you have to take the stopper out as well when you get halfway through or is it just these minis? So this will be in for a while. Um, and there's my progress on that. The next was don't have a cow man, an easy to pan item. And for that, I put in this Aveeno lotion. When I started, it was, um, where was it when I started? One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, it was right up there. Now I'm all the way down here. I thought this would be gone this month, but it just wasn't. I was not, I would just roll into bed. I usually use this in bed on like my legs and my feet before I go to sleep. So this will be used up by the next update for sure because I'm not sick. Um, for the next prompt for Sun In, a brightening or lightening product. For that, I chose this Peach and Lily um, Pure Peach Rec retinoic eye cream to brighten and tighten. Um, I stopped using this for a while because if you remember, I had some irritation under my eye and under my nose. The nose irritation is still there, but it is almost gone um, with the help of a new dermatologist and some different antibiotics. Um, but I was able to make the three marks. I wasn't able to make a new mark yet because I just picked up using this again tomorrow. So this will be staying in for a while. My goal is to finish it. It'll probably take another three to four months to do that. So this is staying in. Um, next up for the Goonies, an item that was a hard, that was hard or an adventure to find. And for that, I chose this pharmacy fill and good, um, 
Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I really like this. It smells like poopy doop. No, not really, but it smells like, like, you know when you've had flowers in a vase for too long and they die and you smell them? That's kind of what this smells like. Um, but it's a beautiful serum and I got used to it. So thank you, Misty. She sent me all the ones that she had. So I still have, I think, two more, one or two more regular sized. And then I have like a mini, a mini, mini, and then like two deluxe samples. I don't know. I have quite a bit of this. So thank you, Misty. But my goal was to get halfway done and I did. So this is rolling out of this project. For the prompt, wax on, wax off. Do you remember that? What movie is that from? You tell me in the comments below. For that, I chose, um, we were to choose a product that contains wax, and I chose the pa Patrick Ta Brow Wax. I'm so excited. I learned how to use this. Jen from Project Beauty helped me. And what I do is I spray it, and you can spray it with something like MAC Fix Plus. Any sort of spray that you have, like, you know, mist or whatever, or water. Um, and then I take my spoolie and I rub it in there. And I brush my eyebrows up and then I do my pencil or pomade or whatever I'm using. And then I go back over it with a hair gel, with a gel to like lock them in. And I'm really loving using this. So um, I didn't use it much before she helped me do it. And my goal was to use this 10 times. I've used it seven. So this went from 35.47 to 35.38. And I can see a little bit of disturbance on the pan. You guys probably can't because it's super hard to see through. So there's that. So that's staying in. And then for Rubik's Cube, something colorful, I chose my NARS um, Orgasm Face Palette in Orgasm on the Beach. It's super pretty, but you know what? I totally forgot this was in any project because it was in my organizer over here and it was like in a bottom drawer and I totally didn't even look at it. So I've, I, out of my 10 uses, I've only used it twice. This is so super pretty. I have this today. Um, that is the shade, what is it, Turtle Bay. I have that. On my inner corner and I have it in my brow bone for a highlight. I really like it but I've only used it two times out of the ten so this is staying in the project. Um, for the Walkman, something you have purchased or used over and over and over and for that I chose this Koki Set and Forget Long Lasting Makeup Spray because I'm always using a setting spray. Um, I have not used this yet though. My goal is to use it 10 times because I want to see if I like it or not. It's I, I haven't used it in my collection yet. I got this in like a Koki bag, like mystery bag or something. So I haven't used it. Um, but I just finished up another product that I typically use for the same purpose. So this will be starting to be used the next time I use makeup. So that's going to stay in my organizer. And then finally, for the prompt lace, something sheer, I chose the Tarte Juicy Lip, Maracuja Juicy Lip or whatever in the shade Rose. This is so nice, you guys. I have four of these. It smells good. The consistency of it is good. It doesn't get grainy or gross. It puts a little bit of a sheer um, color on my lips. I am so glad I bought these. So I did use it 10 times and it is rolling out. So with that being said, I get to roll in two new pr uh, prompts. So I'm super excited. I pulled up my Tiny Decision app and I'm gonna roll two new prompts in. First up. Take a chill pill. I used to say that to my mom when I was in trouble and she was yelling at me, which wasn't very often that she yelled, but oh my gosh, that was not a good plan. So if you're watching this and you're a kid, don't, don't say that to your parent. <laughs> and then second. I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> I laughed at this so much last year. I just, I kept thinking of those darn commercials, you know, where the old people or whatever. And it's so bad I was laughing. But like they fall down and they're so fake. And they're like, I've fallen, help. I've fallen and I can't get up. And they're all dressed up. And oh my God, it's the commercial. Go look them up and, and see what I'm talking about. You'll know. It's, it's ridiculous. So anyway, 
that's my next prop. So I'm gonna go choose some products and I will be back. Okay, I'm back with my products. The first prompt was take a chill pill and that is something that makes you relax or something that is pampering. And so for that, I chose the Nude Sticks Citrus C Mask and Daily Moisturizer with Yuzu and Turmeric. I love masks um, and I love putting lotion on my face. So I'm gonna try to use this 10 times and then see how I like it. It's brand new for me. Um, it's supposed to give you a smooth, soft, and glowing skin. You can use it in the morning as a daily moisturizer. You can layer it as a nightly treatment mask. Um, so we'll see, I can use it in a couple different ways. So 10 times is the goal on this. And then finally, I've fallen and I can't get up, a product that you gave into buying. Um, this is totally a Kelly Gooch made me buy it. This is the Bite Beauty Change Maker Powder. I've been wanting to get this and then I saw it at TJ Maxx for like $7.99. Um, I bought the shade Light 2. So I, and it looks like it's gonna match me perfectly. So we'll see how it goes. Um, it came with one of these stupid puffs, but you know, I'm not gonna use it. Um, so my goal is to use that 10 times as well. So. 10 times each and we'll see how I do. I will update you next month on that. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you liked me, please consider subscribing. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and I will talk to you soon. Bye.